Amethyst uses a state machine to represent the phases of the game. And this is really handy because uh, the game by itself is composed by states and it's pretty simple to extrapolate these states from the games. For example, you can imagine that when you are playing a game, you are in the gameplay state. When you pause the game, you are in the pause state. And also Amethyst has a nice mechanism to handle these states. Indeed, you have a stack where you can push and pop out the states. The states in Amethyst have a life cycle and the life cycle has some events. Let's imagine that you have the function on start that is called when an event in, is pushed inside the stack. And then we have the function on stop that is called when an event is removed from the stack. Then we have the function on pause and on resume. In Amethyst you have the possibility to push more state on top of each other and the state that is on top most is the active state. So when for example you are in the gameplay state, which is the active state, and uh, you push the pause state, what happens is that on the gameplay state is called the function on pause. Instead, in the pause state is called the function on start. Once the player push the button start to resume the game, the pause state is popped out and the function on stop is called and instead the function on resume is called on the gameplay state and this is how the mechanism works there are other events that are for example on update on fixed update on uh, fixed uh, shadow update and so on now that you understood how this works let's try it in code to do this i want to first create the loading state which represent the loading phase of the game. Here we have the game active and in the terminal you can see that the loading state on update is called each frame. What I did was to load the prelude of Amethyst that contains all the objects that I need like the state data, the game data and the simple transition and I have created this update uh, function which just print load state on update each frame. Here I am implementing the simple state for loading state. The simple state is a trait that already implements all the other events for me, so I don't need to write all the events and I can just focus on the events that I need, for example here the on update. In the application build I am saying which is the initial state of the application. Now what I want to do is to transition from the loading state to the gameplay state once everything is loaded. Basically my idea was to counter the frame and after 5 frame switch from the loading state to the gameplay state and the gameplay has a similar mechanism that after 200 frame instead to switch to another state it quit the state and simply the game gets over. Checking the terminal we can see that the loading on start is executed then 5 updates function are called and then the loading state get over and indeed the loading on stop function is called that is right here then the gameplay is pushed in the stack and indeed the gameplay on start is executed and after 200 frames the gameplay on stop is called because of the transition quit but now let's do let's try another transition which is the push and pop and for doing this i want to introduce the pause state because i want that after 100 frames the state uh, pause is pushed and after again 100 frames the state uh, is popped out to return to the gameplay state and after 100 frame again the gameplay state will shut down the simulation so let's do it so loading state is pretty much the same where after 5 frame it's switched to gameplay state 
Then the gameplay state, I have added two more functions that are on pause and on resume and also I have added this mechanism that after 100 frames it uh, push a new state which is the pause state and after 200 frames it quit the game I have added the pause state which uh, has only the on state and on stop events because on pause and on resume will never call and also in the update function I have this mechanism that after 50 frames it pop this state so it returns back uh, to the previous state so let's execute this game and let's see what our terminal tells okay the terminal says that everything starts with the loading on start with this function as expected then this function is called for five times and after this function switch to another state which is the gameplay state so the loading on stop is called correctly and the uh, on start function is called correctly on the gameplay state then after 100 frames as expected the gameplay on pause is called on the gameplay state and then the pause state is pushed on top of the gameplay state which is which became the new active state and it executes for 50 frames indeed after these frames uh, due to the transition pop that this uh, state execute the pause state is called on stop and then the gameplay on resume this function is called and the update function starts to iterate again and after another 100 frames it quit the game so now that we understood how state machine works in amethyst let's try to display something on screen the only change that i did are these three functions which are add camera add light and add sphere let's try it this sphere that you see is no more nor less the a mesh sphere that is an entity created using this function understand what the game state is a key concept in order to work with amethyst and it deserves a full video in the next video we will see what these three functions does for this video is everything see you next week bye